today i am going to talk about functions in javascript before that so far we have seen how can we write coding using notepad plus plus from now onwards i am going to use visual studio code which is one of the code editor that we use for programming one of the most familiar one i generally use this visual studio code for programming first you should suppose to go to code.visualstudio.com and you need to download this based on your operating system you need to choose and you need to download the exe file and run it you know to install this one on your computer this is just like any other software installation once you install it you just open the visual studio code editor and it looks like this now let me open the project file open folder basics is the name of the project let me select it now you can see it got opened and inside which i have only index and main.js one html file and other one is a javascript file let me open the js file this is what we have seen in the last video all right now today i'm going to talk about functions what is mean by a function and why do we need to use this a function is simply nothing but a code block which performs some action right we'll be writing functions in order to make sure we use it wherever we want it so these functions will generally help us in order to reduce the coding the thumb rule about programming is while you're writing the code in order to achieve the desired result we should suppose to write it in a less number of lines these functions can actually help us to achieve it let's say in my project i want to perform the sum on two values multiple times on that case you need not write the same logic multiple times instead the same function can be called wherever you want it that's where these functions can help us so by making use of these functions we can make sure we reduce the number of lines that we need to write to achieve the results all right let me show you how to write a function in order to write a function we use a keyword called function space name of the function let's say sum is a function name followed by parentheses after that we need to add the curly braces this is the place where we need to write the block of code which needs to be executed when this function has been called what i mean by function calling i'll tell you in a while so first thing that we need to do is create a function by making use of a function keyword and then write a block of code which needs to be executed for example i'm just writing console statement here console.log hey there all right now this is the first step first we need to create a function after creation of a function we need to call this function then only execution will happen right that's what function calling is the second step how to call a function with the function name sum this is what function calling is now i have created a function and i even call the function in line number 5 let's see the output of this i can see once after running this it has been displayed on the console why because i have given console.log here so while we are writing the functions there are two things that we need to do first one is function declaration second one is function calling unless you call this function it won't get executed right this is just a basic thing let me show you few more as i mentioned some here let's perform some math in order to do that first we need to have variables let a equals to 10 and b equals to 20 i have declared two variables here a and b and i even assign values after this you can even declare value called c where i am going to store a plus b so i am performing math on these two values and i am storing the value here and in the console.log statement i am going to print c all right now let's see the output say this value is 30 now you know you can play around with it if you want to change it to multiplication 
let's refresh now you can see multiplication has been performed on this number this is how we can use the functions so far we just seen a simple basic function we can even pass arguments to the function as well that means here inside this parenthesis i am passing inputs technically we call this as a argument so let's say a and b i'm passing a and b as two arguments to the function named sum as we have passed the argument here i'm going to pass values here we have two arguments there i just pass two values here and see this so this is how we can even pass arguments to the function as well whenever we pass an argument here values can be passed while we are calling the function earlier in the first step we have assigned the values manually inside the function but here in this case i just pass two arguments here a and b and the values for those can be passed while we are calling the function these are all the basics about functions how we can write a function and how can we make use of functions in javascript programming now along with this we have one more type called arrow function that we'll see in the next video